a very warm welcome to another lecture on this course on simulation of communication systems using MATLAB. So, the last time we were discussing matrix products and we had discussed vector products or for x, y, this we had general, we had obviously discussed for any m and n dimensional vectors and we had taken two products, the product that gives us a scalar and the 1 cross 1 scalar outer product that gives us a matrix. So, let us first demonstrate these two in MATLAB and uh, then we will continue. So, let us first demonstrate these in MATLAB. So, clear all and let me say I define x as 2, 3, 4, transpose. Or so, x is a 4 cross 1 vector, y define as 6, 7, 8, y I define as another column vector 6, 7, 8, 9. So, first let me define right there inner product as inner equals x transpose y, x transpose multiplied by y. Please note that uh, um, MATLAB, the default form of multiplication is matrix multiplication. So, you add this star over there and this. So, inner product is 80. So, which is equal to, if I do it here, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6, 7, 8, 9. So, this equals 6 or x equals this, y equals this, x transpose y equals 6 plus 2 into 7, 14 plus 3 into 8, 24 plus 4 into 9, 36, 20, 60, 80. So, the inner product is 80, which is there. Let us first calculate the outer product here and then uh, we will do this in MATLAB. So, for the outer product, I have x equals y equals 1, y1, 5, 15, 18, 21, 24, 20, 24, 28, 32. This is so, so this is rank 1. Let me do this. So, x multiplied by y transpose gives me as uh, we expected. So, now let us say that I define outer equals y transpose this and we get this outer. So, now I find the rank of outer. So, yes. So, this is the rank 1 matrix as uh, we had predicted. So, Having familiarized us ourselves with inner and outer products, now let us look at, so we say that uh, there are four ways of uh, looking at matrix multiplication or uh, if you have two matrices A and B, so A is a matrix whose columns are, so these are columns of A given by A1, A2. Similarly, A1 prime, A n prime these are the rows of A and obviously these are the elements of A. So, based on this, these are three equivalent representations of A and based on these three equivalent representations, I can 
actually there are four ways of looking at uh, matrix multiplication that uh, we will look at in the subsequent slides. So, the first way is that I take A as A and B as B1, B2, Bn. The then equals a b1 a b2 a b3 so we can see a b as matrix whose each column is the product of the corresponding column of B with A or if we view the columns of B as entries from the n dimensional real space and the matrix A as a linear transformation. then a b is the linear transformation a applied onto the columns of b then a b is the linear transformation a applied onto the columns of b that is uh, the first way of looking at matrix multiplication. I'll add a few more slides and uh, the second way of looking at matrix multiplication is A B equals rows of A, A1 prime, A2 prime, B. So, a1 prime multiplied by b will be another row vector. So, a1 prime b, a2 prime b. So, basically this matrix multiplication, the rows of the matrix A are transformed using the linear row transformation the rows of matrix A are transformed using the linear transformation B fine so far so good now let us look at the third way of looking at matrix multiplication A, B. A can be written as series of row vectors. So, A I write as its constituent row vectors A1 prime, A2 prime, A n prime and B I can write in the form of its column vectors B1 prime, B2 prime, sorry not prime, B1, B2 up to B n. So, this. Now, if I look at this, then the first entry of AB is the first row multiplied by the first column. So, that is how we define matrix multiplication. So, A1 prime B1, first row multiplied by second column,
fine so in this world view or in this way of looking at matrix multiplication the ijth entry of c equals ab is the product of the ith row of a with the jth column of b this is the third way of looking at matrix multiplication now finally since uh, i have written here a is a, as its constituent rows and b as its constituent columns we can do this the other way around as well so a1 an column vectors prime row vectors so this becomes so a summation so i take the first element multiply it with the first element here a1 b1 prime because there will be as many so yeah. so i goes from 1 to n this so this is nothing but the sum of the of the columns of a with the rows of sum of the outer products of the columns of a with the rows of p fine so these are the four interpretations of uh, matrix products that we can use to look at matrix multiplication so this ab can be seen as a sum of rank 1 matrices so if a contains a and b contain n columns and n rows each then their product is basically the sum of n rank 1 matrices and hence can have rank of at most n. hence this can have a rank of at most n so these are the four ways of looking at matrix multiplication now uh, we have uh, seen eigen values so i'll just uh, actually so let me define a matrix a equals so this i have defined a and let me define b equals so a and b are two matrices a is 4 by 3 so a is 3 by 4 and b is 3 by 3 so let me say that a equals a transpose so a is 4 by 3 and b is 3 by 3 so their product will also be 4 by 3 so let me do that so c equals a into b and this i get this so now let us look at the four interpretations so a times so this gives me the first column of a b so this and uh, a times the first column of b is this a times the second column of b is this a times the third column of b is this so the column interpretation works now let us look at the row interpretation so you can see that uh, 
the first column of C is the same as A times the first column of B, the second column of C is A times the second column of B and the third column of C is the same as A times the third column of C, fine. So now let us look at the row interpretation. So I index the first row of A times B. This gives me the first row of C, this gives me the second row of C, and finally this gives me the third row of C, fine. So I will just retype C over here for convenience, fine. So now let us look at uh, the element wise interpretation. So A, so the first row of A times the first column of B, 75. So, the row column interpretation also works. Finally, let us look at uh, the rank 1 matrix interpretation. So, this gives me a 4 cross 3 matrix as I would expect. this is 2 and this is, so I would call these C1 or rather I would call it this way. This C2 will 2, 2, C2 equals this and this C equals this C1 plus C2 plus C3 equals. So C1 plus C2 plus C3 equals C. So uh, the four uh, interpretations of matrix multiplication are identical. So this completes our discussion on matrix multiplication in MATLAB. So we will stop here and uh, we will talk about eigenvalues, eigenvectors and other matrix operations in the next lecture. Thank you.